Hey, Simon here and today I would like to talk about decals. So the goal is to have a little drop shadow like this um, so that the vertical surfaces are masked out. Usually it would look like this. Poof. Um, yeah, here. This would be how, how decals usually behave and I would like to have a mask for the vertical ones. This was the experiment and uh, in this video I will cover two different techniques to do these things or to try it at least. I was not super successful. This here is more the Unreal 5 way and this is more the Unreal 4 way because there have been some changes with decal responses and stuff like that. So let, uh, let's start here. This is the normal decal, poof, poof, poof. And um, when we go into the classic way of doing this, then it looks like this. We have a decal material, just um, a color and the and and radial gradient goes into opacity and the base color, that's the normal decal. And then here there is um, for the mask, I would like to, or I try to use the word normal with a dot product and we can then either step it, which creates a hard mask between 0 and 1, or we can leave it soft and uh, yeah, use this as mask for the decal. So that's the basic idea. And so let's look how this, how this behaves. Mm, so this is the standard behavior. And as soon as I enable this mask, so this mask here is now enabled, we get this weird uh, noise. Uh, that's of course not so nice. Um, and right now I have I, this step function is uh, active, which gives us, like I said, basically everything which is not vertical is white on the mask and everything else is um, black. So we can actually have a look how this how this looks. So yeah, but there is a lot of noise involved here. So that's, that's not nice. Um, let's look at the soft version first. So it looks like this. Um, and of course I have to enable the soft version here. And what we can see is now the noise is gone, but we have all these ugly bands of color here. So there's a lot faceted way. And that's a bit weird because we use the world normal. And when we, when we look at the world normal, let's have a look here at the world normal buffer. It looks perfect, right? This is, this is very soft and smooth and that's very nice. But for some reason, when we look at when we when we look at the result we get from our scene texture here and we just output it as color we will see that uh, yeah we have here all these these faceted views drin and this seems to be a problem i can show it to you here in unreal uh, 427 it was still smooth but then here in unreal oops in unreal uh, 50 three it started to look faceted and yes so this is a little bit of a problem um and so we can't use that right now there is a little in between solution thanks a lot for uh, ruina from the unreal source discord and by the way also thanks to nemi he is on my uh, discord on my 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 own discord if you want uh, feel free to join and uh, both helped me out with that and ruina uh, told me that there's something very nice here in window um, console variables. Where is it? Here, console variables. Um, you can enable a specific console variable. Oh, I enabled color grading. That's of course not smart console variables. And if you don't have this entry and this window, just go to uh, edit plugins, type console, and then here you have to enable this. Very, very useful. And here there is this variable which is called r.decal normal reprojection enabled. And what it does is it uses the last rendered um, normal or normal uh, world normal buffer um, from the last frame in the scene textures. And when we enable this here, we can li see live. Oh, now it looks li nice and smooth, right? On, off. So that's very, very useful. Uh, very nice knowledge. One thing we can already notice here, there are these little, I don't know, whatever this is. And then also we will notice as soon as we move, the facets come back for a short amount of time. So that's of course not not perfect here in this regard. And um, so this is not a real solution for us, unfortunately. One thing I noticed, uh, yeah, here we can also see when we use the, here up there, we can see the, 
the bands coming back for our decal when we move. So that's not not perfect. Um, one thing I found interesting when I use when I don't use the soft mask, so now we have the black and white mask again, so everything which is not uh, vertical is, is white basically, we get still some noise, but it's only in the reflection here, only down here we get some noise, um, while here it's okay, and here on the edge also, so that's an interesting artifact. Okay, so this is the, um, this would be the classical way for, for decals, but I didn't find a solution how to make everything work there. Let's have a look at this here. Poof. This works a little bit better and this is interesting uh, and this is very different to, um, uh, to Unreal 4 because here the decal itself, the decal material is very simple. There's basically nothing here. So it's just the gradient and the color. And interesting was here the decal response is grayed out. And this seems to be new in Unreal um, 5 because now the decal response is managed in the receiving material. So here uh, what I'm doing is um, just having a little uh, color texture and a color and then reading from, from the debuffer A and this reads just the alpha from the from the decal and the decal response here is set to none usually what is the default value the default value is color normal roughness uh, so i set it to none and now i can do what i uh, i want basically um, and by the way for me it was like this uh, as default case but you have to go into project settings rendering and then enable debuffer decals um, I think in Unreal 4 this was not enabled by default but now it should be but double check and then set the decal response to none and now I can do whatever I want and what I do is from the from the uh, debuffer I, I just take the alpha and then here I make my my mask with the dot but this time I just use the vertex normal of the mesh. Um, here is the step function again uh, so that I can switch between soft and uh, hard mask and then I just add this to my the, the alpha color basically of my decal and multiply it with the color. So this is how I apply this decal here and we can have a look. I can enable soft so and now we see that it already gets faded out here on, on these surfaces which are not aligned horizontally anymore um, and yeah so that's basically the solution <laughs> so yeah uh, it was um, it's just a little bit weird with this new or, or unknown to me with, with this new uh, idea that the decal response is managed in the receiving material um, if you look for it, I can uh, link some some, image, uh, some images, some videos in the video description. There are some other videos talking about how to set up um, nice decal responses, custom responses like this. And yeah, so so this is my solution so far. I must say there's only one. I think this this works nice when when the mask is soft. But if we want to have, uh, when if we want to keep the decal here on this surface and we disable the the softness, then we get here some artifacts these pixels but that's uh, apart from that i think it's uh, it's quite fine yes so if you have more ideas uh, better solutions then let me know in the comments i hope this helped and thanks ruina and nemi for the help